Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you my onion oil video, which a few of you have asked for because I've showed it in one of my wash day videos. I've made this oil twice. I've got two different processes, which I want to show you. One of these processes is better than the other when it comes to preservation. So before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed and also hit the not notification button so you get a notification every time I post. And let's get right into it. So I cut up three cloves of garlic and a whole ginger. You can use as much or as little as you want. So chop it up into small pieces and then blend. So I'm going in with one cup of coconut oil followed up by a quarter cup of olive oil and then a quarter cup of castor oil so I'm melting the oil here using the double boiler method and I do it this way because I don't want to overheat my oils and lose the nutrients here I'm adding the blended onion garlic and ginger into my oil and then I'm gonna let it sit for a bit so here I cracked my glass bowl because I put it on the the pan whilst it was on the fire don't do that <laughs> so then I had to change it into this little glass jar so once it cools, just drain it using a cheesecloth. So I had already used this cheesecloth to drain my Ayurvedic hair growth oil. That's why it has those black stains, but I do not mind. So this is it all drained and ready to use. I'll then go ahead and add some essential oils. Here I'm going in with vitamin E oil, followed by peppermint oil, and then some lavender. And that's just to mask the onion smell a bit. So yeah, that's my onion, ginger, and garlic growth oil. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the second method. So here I've got my fenugreek, onion and bay leaves. I got the idea to add fenugreek from this other blogger named Afrilicious Muna. I'll put the link to her video below so you can have a look. So I start by cutting up my onions to prepare them for blending. I usually prefer to use the red onions because they're stronger but um, I do not have access to the red onions at the moment so I am just using these white ones because that's all I have so if you can use the red onion to use them but this ones will do as well and then to blend I am just going to add one tablespoon of olive oil Okay, so that's done. This is what we've got. I don't really plan to make a lot, so that's why I didn't use a lot of onions. So I'm going to empty this into my pan. I'm going to use a non-stick pan. So I'm just going to go in with two tablespoons of coconut oil. I am going to now empty my onions in there. So I'm going to then add some fenugreek seeds. You do not have to add this. This is me just being extra. You can get fenugreek seeds in any African or Asian food grocery stores. Or you can purchase it online I also have the, the powder but this is the first time I am trying out the seeds 
So I used two tablespoons of fenugreek seeds. Follow up with a few bay leaves. You know I love bay leaves. You can get them from any Asian or African food shop. So I'm going to now put my heat on. So it's on the smallest one on here. And I'm going to put the heat on but on very low. So make sure it's very low heat because you do not want to kill the nutrients in your oils. So I stir this on low heat until it simmers and once the colour changes from this white to sort of off white then we know it's ready. It's almost ready and I absolutely love the smell of this. It smells amazing and all I want to do is just add some rice to it. <laughs> oh, it smells divine. So if you're not keen on the onion smell, I think preparing your onion this way with some other herbs or seeds will really help with the smell. So I am going to just let it cool and then I will sieve. So now that the oil has cooled, I am just going to strain it with my cheesecloth. So as you can see, I didn't make a lot compared to the first one because the first one got wasted when I made it. I made way too much and I left it for about a month and it went bad and I had to throw it away. So with this one, I made sure not to make too much. So this will probably be enough for two washes so here is the final results this is my onion bay leaf and fenugreek pre poo oil i'm just going to add some essential oils to improve the smell and i'm going in with a few drops of liang liang followed by vitamin e oil and then some peppermint oil I love the sensation peppermint gives on my scalp and it's really good to stimulate growth and also help with the cheese scalp. I generally use this as a pre pool oil before washing my hair. I actually have a video so I'll just show you right now. The reason why I use this onion oil is because onion is very rich in sulfur which provides nourishment for your hair follicles which then results in growth so the sulfur also helps to reduce breakage and hair fall so it's perfect if you're balding and if your hair breaks a lot so i use the onion oil as pre-poo as you can see i apply it to my hair before i wash it I apply it, let it sit for about 30 minutes under a shower cap and then wash it out with shampoo before I then condition my hair. This is the oil from the double boiling method. It's been about four months and it started going off. So as you can see, it's molding. So I wouldn't recommend that double boiling method because the onion in here smells quite raw as well so i'm assuming that it needs to be quite cooked for it to last longer so if you want your oil to last longer i would recommend the simmering method on low heat and also i would recommend doing it in smaller batches this oil is now wasted so i'm gonna have to get rid of it so now from now on i'm just going to do smaller batches and i would keep it in the fridge and i keep it towards the back where it could freeze a bit so let me know if you have used onion oil in your hair if you are willing to experiment with onion oil or if that's where you just draw the line let me know i love it i am open to experimenting and i just find it fun to try different things so yeah thank you for watching and if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe and also hit the notification button so you can get notified 
every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being patient with me whilst I haven't been posting. I shall see you in my next video. Bye!